What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ooh, we love a good cold start. So I know I've been gone for a little bit. Um, I did have some big things going on. I'm finally back. I know I've been slacking on videos, but I was making some big moves. So um, me and my best friend did actually, we got our own place, yeah. So hopefully I can bring you guys some more content. Um, I know I've been lacking on the content a little bit, but I'm gonna try to bring you guys some more, hopefully. It'll be a little bit of everything, not not just cars, might just be some vlogs too, but we all know I love cars, so that's what I'm gonna do the most. Um, I did have a couple family emergencies, so that's why I was also not vlogging too much, but things are going good, life is good, and we did get some new mods for the Subi, guys. I know you can kind of see a little sneak peeks in the background, I don't want to show you guys too much, but she's looking good. Give you guys a little bit of a peek before I get in the car, but I'm gonna go ahead and cruise. Take a little cruise, show you guys what the Subi's looking like. Maybe explain some build plans. Let's enjoy the day, guys. So I do know most of us have been stuck inside lately, unfortunately. It's been the struggle right now, but um, it'll pass eventually, hopefully. I think the biggest thing that I miss is car meets, dude. I can't, it's so sad just being stuck inside. Car meets was probably the best part and now I can't even go to car meets anymore. Just being stuck inside, not being anywhere to go. I mean, I tried to go out the other day, try to go to the beach, but they wouldn't even let me get off the car. Everywhere I tried to go, they were like, oh, you can't be off the car or you have to keep walking or there's a bunch of different rules, it sucks. It's horrible. I mean, you can go out to the beach, look around, enjoy the view, but you can't really do too much. And everywhere is still pretty closed, so hopefully stuff starts to open back up. Um, as far as the Subi goes, I am going for more of like a street look. I didn't want to go too much of the rally look just because I feel like it's done It's it's done so much on Subis. I have nothing against it. I love how it looks. I think it looks really good, but I just want to do something different. Just a little bit of a, like mix it up, maybe like a street style and a rally look. I don't know. Kind of do something different, not be basic. But uh, I'll give you guys a nice look at her. Well, guys, I stopped and picked up an acai bowl because I've been trying to eat healthy during this quarantine. It's not working, but I've been trying to be healthier and start eating better. But I mean, you see how that's been working out. Being stuck at home is hard, man. Junk food, too much temptation. So, guys, I actually just took a cruise to my parents' house because. Uh, I kind of can't go anywhere right now. I can't go anywhere else to show off the SUV, but um, here it is, guys. This is uh, the OLM STI style wing, and then I also got some rain guards. She's looking good, baby. So behind me, I got the F4S. The F4S is still driving like beauty, like I said. And then I will let you guys get a good look at the OLM STI style wing. All right, so here's the STI wing. It wasn't too hard to install. I'll actually give you guys a quick little rundown for anybody who doesn't know how to install it. So actually to install it, what you do is there's a couple pop clips in the trunk liner. You just take the pop clips off, take the trunk liner off. Then once you lay the trunk flat, there's gonna be holes. It's, there's gonna be a layout that comes with the STI style wing. You just tape it on, it lays out perfectly to your trunk. You drill the holes in the exact spots that it tells you. There's gonna be two on each side, just like that. Once you drill the holes and you have the sealant on the bottom, you lay the wing like that. Once the, the, wing, the wing's laid, then you just go ahead and attach the hardware from the inside of the trunk. And that's pretty much it. it Stalls pretty easy. And then besides that, I did the uh, rain guard deflectors. Not too shabby. Those were a quick, easy install too. So all that you do is you just pull these, uh, you pull the inner lining in here, pull the sealant, it comes off pretty easy, just pops off. Then you go ahead and there's little pop clips. There's little clips that go inside the rain guards. I know you can kind of see it. They pop in there and it sticks on. Just like that, it's done. It's 
pretty much it guys this was more of just a little update video let you guys see how the Subi's turning out she's not looking too shabby starting to look out pretty good other than that uh, the FRS has been coming along she's been driving like a beauty guys I know you guys can see it um, I do have some I am gonna get some tell me unequal length headers for the FRS next it's gonna be the next mod for the FRS other than that the Subi's doing pretty good I ain't got anything too crazy on the way for that we're looking good, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.